Mika, in a minute or less, describe yourself. Who is Mika, good and bad? Um, I'm boring, I'm quiet, I'm shy, um, introvert. So yeah, that's what I think I need. Family person. Yeah. That's you? Yeah. Passionate. Fighter. <laughs> Lover. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go right into it. It took a long time for this to happen. So first, you know, before we even go into it, let me introduce for the people that do not know. This is the legend. I hate that word. You hate that? Well, okay, first, why do you hate that word? But yeah. Legend for what? <laughs> <laughs> in the Borum team, you're a legend, you know, for a couple of categories, you know. And, what, well, first, why do you hate that word? I don't think I did anything. <laughs> so, you, you don't feel like you accomplished anything in the Borum team? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think about it. You don't think about it? But for why they call you legend? You know, what the ballroom definition. Do you feel like you've accomplished in the ballroom team? <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like everybody gets that title. I mean, everybody gets a title eventually. I don't, I don't, for me personally, I don't, it doesn't make a difference to me. I don't, I don't. Okay, so let's, let's back up. So let's break down. So maybe I can, we can shed some light to you yeah. on why they feel that way. Mm -hmm. Give, when did you come into the ballroom scene? 16. 16 years old. Mm -hmm. how, what, how did it happen? What, you know. I'm just going to say, how old are you now? <laughs> <laughs> how did, how did you come into the scene? Um, honestly, I don't even remember. I know that um, I had friends who um, I had friends who, who, who knew people in the ballroom scene like um, like Keisha and Danielle and um, Danielle Revlon. Yeah, Danielle right. Revlon. Keisha Evans used to come. Um, we used to see her in the village a lot. So from hanging out in the village and then Lorenzo and Akasha, they hung out more. So they were able to um, build relationships with them. And then, um, I don't know, I think that's how, that's just how it, ha it kind of happened, it just organically happened, I can't remember. But I know that, um, I know that the category that, that I ended up walking was not even the category that I was well, tell that. How did you, you know what it was? Well, you wanted to tell I me mean, oh. history, so tell them what was the. How did you even get the name Mika, first of all? Sandy. Sandy Dior. Yeah, Sandy Dior. We were in. Um, we, I think we were on like 113th Street. I remember it was. We were waiting for the train, and she says. Oh, she said, you're so little, and you're so, you remind me of a, of a Mika, a little girl around the way. She so said, then you were the BQ. Yeah, and yeah, you were the, yeah. And you were, you, were, you were up and down. Yeah. Okay. Not really, like, mm -hmm. in and out, mm -hmm. in a, playing in and out. But I remember yeah, you were you were the Bush Drag, basically, that, that night, particular night. Was I? Yeah, 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 we were going back. We were going back. And she, we're going back to, to What year was this? Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. I think it was probably 90, 96. 97. Yeah, 96, 97. And I remember her, um, she's like, you're so little, you're so small. She's like, she's like, you're quiet, but you, you look like one of those girls around the way. She's like, I'm gonna call you Mika. But you feel great enough so, to stay though. Okay. And you became Mika. Yeah, it just, it just, everyone started calling me that. Who taught you how to vote? No one. No one? No. Oh, because we did an interview that recently and Yolanda said she taught you how to vote. I don't know what, you know, I don't get into that stuff, I don't do that. So, you, what, you taught yourself, what was your inspiration then? Uh, Celeste. Celeste. Mm -hmm. Celeste was a, um, was a, she, she, she was a transgender woman, but at the time, people, 
she was she was a transgender woman. She she was a transgender woman, but she would she would go in and out. Mm -hmm. She would present both ways. Okay. Um, and she she was a dancer. Um, and it was just I don't know what it was. It was a, a lot of people started comparing us together because we, we were both dancers and we kind of had the same body frame. And I remember I remember seeing her. And I don't know, like, it was just something about, I've never, honestly, and I'm going to be honest with you, the first time I ever saw Vogue, I was, I was 13, and I was watching Channel 13, mm -hmm. and there was a show that used to come on called, um, uh, In the Life, and they had, a, um, Willie Ninja, they had Willie Ninja there, and it was a documentary on, on Voguing, not Paris is Burning, this was something else that they had. Mm -hmm. Because everyone automatically thinks Paris. Is yeah, they, no, but it, it wasn't that. And um, Willie Ninja was on a tree. This picture. Yeah. And he was like painting his face, mm -hmm. miming, um, painting his face with his back against the tree and I was like oh my god you was amazed yeah I was like what the it, it just it was mesmerizing it was beautiful it was it was clean and because I come from a dancer's background it's like I love clean I love precision I love somebody's art that's like polished I love a polished art and I remember seeing him and I was like wow I was like I don't know what it was, but it was something that I knew I was a part of, but I didn't, I wasn't a part of it yet, but I knew that this was something I was going to be part of. So describe your BQ Vogue Fem days, like, you know, the infamous Mika day. Describe those days for you, you know, when you was in infinity, you know, also going, describe those days. What were those days like for you? Well, the infinities were my family. They were really... Hector, Infinity, Baron, Jamie, um, really took me under their wing. Like Ross really, also? Ross, Ross, Ross. But Ross was 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 before Infinity. Like right. I knew that Ross was a part, but I knew Ross um, outside of the ballroom scene, okay. and we had a different relationship. And you know how I feel about him. I love that man. But. Um, uh, it was Hector and, and Jamie and Baron who really, Baron used to walk bazaar, that really took me under their wing and just really protected me, you know, just really, just really, really was there for me, especially at the time where it was really difficult, home life, things like that was a little shaky, so they were there, like anything I wanted, anything I needed, if I needed to eat. They would say, come to the job, you know, just really take care of me. Thank you. Mustard man. For the viewers, you just came from a fundraiser, so we said, let's come yeah. here and do this. <laughs> For a little this girl, you get to see her food, though. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is turkey bacon, right? Yeah, thank you. Do you have, um, yeah. All right, we'll post that. do you have like mail? You're not yeah, right here, honey, on the table. Okay, okay. thank you. Master, may you extra napkins like right here, okay? Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. So your BQF days, mm -hmm. who would you say were your rivals? Like, some of your moments that you look back and was like, wow, it was memorable for the scene. I don't know if I, I really call them rivals, because I, I honestly, everybody I look, I, I, Vogue against, like I, I idolize them, you know, mm -hmm. like Armani, Armani Milan, Armani. Would you uh, say one of those were like, your, like those were the moments that a lot of people loved and remembered? Yeah, they remember. Nice of you, thank you. They remember Armani, Derek, um, Derek Muglia. Yeah. Um, All right. Um, Kevin had passed away. Kevin. Yeah. Alonso. Yeah. Y'all would have hot bad. You know who I really loved? Who? Um, Albert. Mm -hmm. Albert. Right on. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing about it, I really, I used to be so intimidated of, of Albert. I really was. And when I went over him, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like it was, it meant something. You know what I mean? Especially for somebody that you idolize. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And, what would you call your performance? Brandy, you know. Mm -hmm. Brandy, Brandy Mugler. Mm -hmm. That's somebody you was also very close to, right? Mm -hmm. What would you describe your performance as a BQ? Fast. <laughs> Fast. Um, very hyper. <laughs> Energy. 
be a lot of energy. Um, and you know what? I think I honestly think it was because I was always so nervous. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it was. Always? Like, like I wanted to hurry up and, and get it over with. Like, yeah, because I, I I hate being. You know how I am. I, I don't like. I don't like to be seen. I don't like to be put out there. I don't like for people to be looking at me. So it's, it was something that I had to really get used to, like having people look at me and have people like judge me and to perform for people. Why is that? I don't because I'm I'm shy. I'm re I'm really honestly I'm a private person. You know that I like to sort of show a part of myself. Because this is the only. This will be the only one ever, right? Yeah. I'm talking about as far as the interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see how long that took. You know, I yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm still uncomfortable. I know. So. It's uncomfortable for me.